Hello, this is Gio, and hey, look what I just got, uh, my latest purchase on Amazon Prime, actually. Um, I got these, um, these notebooks. They're called Right in the Rain, All Weather, in this case it's the journal form. Uh, and these are all weather, waterproof uh, notebooks, and you can actually write with them in the rain. And I just wanted to kind of share these with you today because I've been using these things for years. If you're kind of an outdoorsy type or you do either some kind of field work or you're in construction or you just like to take photographs outside or lots of things, you know, the hunter, fisherman, anytime you need, you're out in the elements and you need to write things down. Uh, these waterproof um, uh, write and rain notebooks and papers really do the trick for you. Now I'm going to open this up. Um, again, this is the Right in the Rain, the stapled notebooks. Here, let me open these up for you. Pull them on out. Now, now these came uh, three in a pack here. You can actually even get boxes of these things if you want. Um, just for three, I think it was around 14 bucks. They're not cheap. Uh, you can get them in a whole different type of format. Again, this is the journal type. And we're going to test these out for you in a second. But you can just see these are just plain lined. They have numbers here. Uh, they have a little right in the rain there, and these actually do work, and I'm going to test them with some water and show you kind of how these work. But before I do that, I, uh, they do come in different sizes. Here's a little tiny uh, more notebook size that I've used. I've already used this in the field, and this is just lined paper. I kind of just stick a pencil there, put this in my back pocket, and you're good to go there. Uh, these particular staple kinds uh, can come in different Again, these are line types. You can get them with different grids. So you can uh, actually draw some pictures while you write. Different grids here. Some of them, grids on both sides. There's a whole bunch of variety of notebooks. They come in hardbound, hardback copies. They come in individual sheets you can put in a little uh, three ring or more binder. Uh, they even come in, you can get reams of just printer paper that you can print off what you need in the field, like some kind of a form. Um, and put those in your uh, uh, field notebook or uh, case and you can write with those. Now those aren't cheap, I think they come around 50 bucks per ream. So use them sparingly only while, when you're out in the field. But we're going to uh, get this thing wet and try to see if it actually works. And oh, you might want to see uh, this size notebook come, you know, you can see inches or this is centimeters here. I think on the other side is is inches. You can use a scale. You can put some information there. So it's, it's kind of handy. So let's try these things out. Alrighty, so I got my paper here. I got just a, I just have a little uh, a mechanical pencil right here. I'm going to try uh, just an ordinary big pen as well. Um, my experience with these aren't as good. I've always used pencils. Uh, now right in, the Right and Rain Company actually sells both uh, mechanical pencils and pens at specifically designed for these right and rains and so different inks uh, may probably work better so I'm just going to open it up to the last page just kind of dampen and you can kind of see the water beating there hopefully I have enough light so you can see and you can just kind of see it just beads just like that and um, I've noticed uh, wet paper for a while eventually it kind of softens up but it really takes uh, a lot of time and then if it gets too wet for you, you can just wipe it off and it's, it's virtually like new. So we'll go ahead and dump some water on this. And then I'm just going to say, kind of write, uh, what should I write? So this is a test. So as you can see, I just wrote right through uh, just a bubble of water there. See, right? So, so right there, if you can see. So we'll do it again. Jeez, there's too much water going around here. But just test right in a little bead of water there. And you can just wipe it off and there you go. It's getting wet. And you can kind of, with time, you can start feeling that the paper is starting to get wet. It's starting to cur curve like that. But again, it's pretty heavy duty paper and it will dry pretty easily. Let me get that. So this is not just like writing on plastic. It is paper and it will Kind of gets softened after a while, but it's pretty heavy duty. So uh, this stuff works pretty well. So let's try it with pen again. Um, we'll just uh, test. So it still writes. It's even after it gets wet. I don't think it'll work as well 
in water because of the type of ink. Ink is not really meant to write in water, but we'll give it a try. So test actually kind of works. So test again, and it does kind of work just with a big pen. And so you can kind of see it working there. And so it actually works uh, pretty well with standard ink. Again, I don't typically use ink. I usually just draw with paper. One of the things with a pencil, now after it starts getting wet, you start, uh, it's harder to erase because what happens is they kind of put, I, I guess they put some kind of a coating on, either um, some kind of wax coating, and it's just surficial and you start using an eraser, you start rubbing off uh, the, the coating, and you'll notice that it won't be as waterproof in that area the next time you write. But these notebooks are highly durable. Literally, I've had them out in the field multiple times when it's pouring. I just put them in my pocket. They kind of dry out. They could just you could submerge these things in water. You can kind of see how it's it's starting to get a little wet. But again, the paper is heavy duty. So although um, and they're they're meant to eventually kind of look like this or worse uh, over time. But um, these things really do work. If you do a lot of field work, I highly recommend them. Let me back out a little bit. Again, right in the rain uh, notebooks, and it's R I T E, uh, unlike uh, the title of my How to Write in the Rain. Um, but really good things. You can get these on Amazon. They have a lot more variety on their website. So I hope this video helped you out, and the next time you're in the rain, uh, you might be able to write a few notes to yourself. So good luck. See you next time. Bye bye.